Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out our February Security Patch Tuesday updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11, which they started rolling out on the 13th, which was once again late yesterday in my part of the world. Now the Patch Tuesday updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of every month are compulsory mandatory security updates that will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. And for Windows 10, this month, our latest Patch Tuesday update is KB5034763. Now, the update addresses security issues for the Windows OS. And just to go through what has been fixed and addressed. First of all, there are 38 vulnerabilities that have been patched. And one of those in is critical. So that's the important bit. One critical vulnerability has been fixed, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. And it's listed as Windows Pragmatic General Multicast Remote Code Execution Vulnerability. Now that's quite a mouthful, but all you really need to know there is that a remote code execution vulnerability is when a, a attacker can try and gain ex access to your uh, system remotely over the internet or over a network. So just make sure obviously that you have this patch installed sooner than later because it will address the critical security vulnerability and 38 vulnerabilities have been patched in total. Now although this is a security update, we do get four bug fixes that have rolled out with KB5034763. So these were obviously deemed important enough to be pushed out before the bug fix update and um, which rolls out near the end of this month. And I'm just going to mention these quickly. Um, the update addresses an issue that affects explorer.exe. Now explorer.exe is your start menu, your taskbar, your notifications, your file explorer. Apparently it might stop responding and this occurred when you restart or shut down a PC that has a controller accessory attached to it. So that issue has been addressed. And the update also addresses an issue that affects the download of device metadata. Apparently, um, downloads from the Windows metadata and internet services over HTTPS are now more secure, which is good to know. And then the update addresses an issue that affects the certificate authority snap-in. And it also addresses a known issue that might send, your, send you error 0xd0000034. Apparently, this occurred when you tried to upgrade some eligible devices to Windows 11 from Windows Update. So that's a known issue that's also been addressed. Now, over and above those bug fixes that have rolled out, the security update also includes the quality improvements that were part of this update, KB5034203, which was the optional bug fix update that rolled out near the end of last month January 2024 and just to go through this quickly because I did post a whole video on KB5034203 which I will leave down below in the description if you'd like to play catch up and get some more information as to the quality improvements that have also rolled out um, this month in the Patch Tuesday Windows 10 update. Now first of all um, it brings a what Microsoft is calling a richer weather experience. To your lock screen. Now I still have not seen this experience rolled out to my Windows 10 device. So obviously this is on a controlled phased rollout which is normal. Sometimes these so-called new features that roll out with Windows updates can take a month or two to roll out in all um, areas globally. So what basically you need to know regarding this is that um, if you move your mouse over the weather you'll see more details and if you click on it and log in you'll get the full weather report in Microsoft Edge and if you already use the weather setting on your lock screen obviously you don't need to change anything and this feature will also turn on by itself if you haven't chosen a lock screen status but you'll still see it no matter what kind of lock screen basically you have so if that's a picture or a, um, a spotlight desktop theme or whatever you'll still see the new weather experience according to Microsoft. Now just to mention some other improvements and fixes that have rolled out that were part of last month's bug fix update. Uh, we've got an issue that was affecting Windows management instrumentation. That's been fixed. It fixes an issue that affects the single function printers. So that's always good to know. There's always some printer fixes that do roll out. It fixes a remote desktop session issue. It addresses an issue that occurs when you change the keyboard language. It fixes an issue that affects deleted cloud files and a lot more. But go check that video out if you'd like to get information on KB5034203. And over and above that, um, 
the build has also been bumped up. So just, just to check our latest build, we head over to our search and we enter Winver, which will take us to the About Windows menu. And for Windows 10 version 22H2, the latest OS build is now sitting on 19045.4046. So that's more or less what's new with KB5034763, which is Windows 10's compulsory secured update for February 2024. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.